Okay, I have not used this thing in, like, forever. <laughs> I have not used the Dazzle in, like, forever in a day. And I'm freaking recording this game. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I can't wait to get started with this game. By the way, I'm Seawalt the Platinum One. And this is me here. And I'm hoping my Dazzle doesn't have audio issues. So this game, my god. This game came out, like... Eight years ago, almost eight years ago this year, and I still remember fondly playing this game a lot. In fact, among the games of its time, I remember a particular game I p remember playing the most, and I LP'd it there, and it sucked. <laughs> but that's not the game we're talking about here. The game we are talking about, and the game I'm going to be let's playing for you today, starting today, is... The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? I am. So let's not waste any more time and just go right into it. And into the title screen I go, or into the fossil screen I go. <laughs> Alright, so the thing about Twilight Princess is actually, the one unique thing about Twilight Princess is you can actually name your horse. I don't really do that, but I don't really do that because... Epona is a much fitting name. I don't care. I don't want to name my horse anything else. Epona is just the perfect name, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's get into this game, actually. Or rather, let's get into this game now. Jesus. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits that have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk about sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set by Ted to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? Well, why? Can't you just do it by yourself? I mean, I'm pretty much the only person I can trust, someone can trust, so, yeah. <laughs> you have never been to Hyrule, right? Um, aren't we in Hyrule, dude? Aren't we in Hyrule? I don't know. In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. Hard to believe it. Another text-heavy game, and I'm not globbing it up. <laughs> so one thing you'll notice about Twilight Princess that is actually a lot different from all the other Zeldas, or at least all the other 3D Zeldas that we've seen so far, or at least rather I've Let's Played so far, is that if I can give Twilight Princess cr points over Skyward Sword is that I love the cinematics of this game, really. <laughs> I love the camera angles. I love all these all these beautiful shots, even like the places we go into the first time, you know? I love the cinematics and everything. <laughs> yeah, so we're just taking our horse. Taking our horse. And yeah, everything looks more realistic, huh? That's because, well, after the oh-so-outrageous cry of too much cartoony graphics of Twilight of... No, not Twilight Princess. Of Wind Waker, Miyamoto decided, Hey, I ought to please the Ocarina of Time fanboy, so I might as well just, like, return to form with the realistic graphics. <laughs> then again, Wind Waker proved that even the cartooniest games can still have the epic feel of a Zelda, so I guess that's something. Let's look at my catchphrase now. <laughs> What? What? 
What do you want? I'm busy. Doing some. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Fine, I'll do it. It's not like it's my day off or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, someone took our horse. Hey, where's Epona? Well, I'm pretty sure she's right there. And yes, if you can believe it or not, I'm actually looking at my Wii U gamepad and my computer at the same time, so just in case something goes wrong in the recording, I can catch it. So yeah, my Wii U is my second screen, am I right? <laughs> Thank you, Wii U update. I can now play games on the toilet. Anyway, controls! So, basically you use the control stick to move. I'm playing the Wii version, obviously, by the way, so... Yeah, this is going to be a lot different from the GameCube version if you're playing along with that. So you use the control stick to move. On the nunchuck, you can press Z to target. Press C on the nunchuck to look around. All that good stuff. And I should probably actually uh, do my options now, just so I can, like, take my camera control to, like, invert or something. Yeah. Yeah, I, could I should probably do that. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um... As for those other icons right here, um, we won't be getting into those until a little bit later. So, of course, you can obviously roll like you can in every 3D Zelda game, of course, to go along faster. Unfortunately, though, no, there is no trick in which you in which you can, like, sidestep to win to go by speedrunning tactics or whatever. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, there's none of that. But, yeah. Anyway, let's go get a horseback from this girl who is apparently... Pretty, or something. <laughs> nice feet. Jesus, don't you love the Cinemax? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to pause for that entire scene, but... I just didn't feel like I could talk over it. It's just... Oh my god. I've actually grown to like the Cinematics more than I did in every 3D... Than every other 3D Zelda game, actually. <laughs> but, uh, listen, Link, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes? Well, I'm pretty sure, as all of you Zelda fans know who's ever played Ocarina of Time before, this should remind you. Oh yes indeed, that is indeed Epona's song that we just played on that grass whistle type thing. Huh, I guess Zelda copy from Pokemon, I guess? I don't know. It's such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. So she's all pretty up now, so I suppose she can ride her back. But don't you make her ride too much, okay? Don't worry, I'm sure we won't. <laughs> so we get our horse right away, that's awesome. So. Basically, if you ever played Ocarina of Time before, you should know how to control your horse. Obviously, you use A to dash. And, yeah. There's a lot more to the horse this time around, actually, as we'll be getting into, of course, later on. And, of course, there are some places where you can't dash, pretty much in our hometown. But, speaking of our hometown, here it is. Welcome to Ordon Village. Kind of sounds like Zordon, or is it Ordon Village? I don't know. I don't know what it is. So yeah, we got nice shots and ooh, chicken must kill. Okay, I'll be actually getting into a pretty interesting thing about the cuckoos in this game actually, a bit later on. And no, I don't want to. I don't want to trample the poor family. I want to talk to them. I want to talk to them just because I want to talk to them. Okay, let's see. Ah, if it isn't Young Link, are you going to close down the ranch for today? I closed the shop myself. I don't know why I'm giving her old man voice. But I'm sure you'll you know that all the mischievous monkeys have been coming to the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I better lock up tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that good for nothing husband to do anything, right? Ah, come on, Dad. You can't catch a silly little monkey. Uh, well, no, I can't. Ah, dude, dude. Yeah, out to work with that. You can't tell me what to do, Mom. <laughs> Can't tell me. And over here we have, uh, this family. How about you? Oh, hi, Link. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. 
I left to, all I have to do is to paint it and it'll be ready for fishing. Hooray, I get a fishing rod. That's something. Huh, great timing, Link. There was something I've forgotten to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod for you two, so you can play together. You should finish it today so you can go about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Your son just told me, dude. Your son just told me. Uh like, can I talk to the can I talk to your wife? Uh hello. Hello. Can I talk to your wife? Good sir. Okay, there we go. Good evening, Link. This, this is a lovely sunset, is it not? It is kind of you to spend some time with my husband, you know? It gives time to myself. Well, why don't you put the livestock to bed now? Okay, fine. Everyone's expecting me to work, and I'm gonna work. Oh, where do I go? Where the heck do I go? Okay, there we go. There we go. And what about you? Last person I'm gonna talk to, I swear. Oh, Link. Looks like you're going to help, help Fado. Good job. He headed up the ranch ahead of you. You should go on and finish the church before the sun goes down. Okay, sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our cows to bed, because this is totally what a Zelda game feels like. <laughs> this is completely what a Zelda game feels like, ladies and gentlemen. Herding goats and doing farm work. I'm up to 11 and a half minutes. I don't care. I have all the time in the world. Ordon Ranch or Ordon Ranch. I don't care. I'm calling it Ordon, because it sounds like Zordon. Anyway, here's our boss. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. Those guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but could you... What? How's about you and Epona herd him back to the barn real quick? It ain't, we ain't got much time, so you could do it for me? Yes, I can. Okay, so it's time to do farm work, ladies and gentlemen. Time for farm work! hey -ya! <laughs> Okay, so... You basically press the A button to whoop the goats into the barn, and that's pretty much it. Um, there is a way to get all of them at once because of my badass hunt, because of my badass herding skills. I can pretty much do this awesomely and stuff. And look at that! I got almost, I got way more than half into the barn, into the barn. That that's just how awesome I am at this. That's just how freaking amazing I am. <laughs> well, no need to brag here, but. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so let's herd you two in. Therefore, there will be our last ones. And huzzah, ladies and gentlemen. Huzzah. Huzzah. Okay. Link, Epona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so you just sit back and relax, bud. Okay, sure. So, how about today? Want to practice with the fences? Just wait, you okay? I'll get the fences set up. Okay. So now... Jumping mechanics, people. Alright, so we can ride all we want. And we just want to head back to the gate. So, if you gain up enough speed, you'll be able to jump fences and stuff. So, all that will be very good in due time. You can pretty much ride here to practice with the opponent as much as you want. But, for the sake of moving, get, getting things moving along, I'm going to freaking do this. Okay, so now let us save our game, and oh my god, the quality is terrible on my Dazzle compared to the one I'm looking at on my Wii U screen right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> to think I'd be recording with an HD PBR, but no, I cannot, sir. I cannot. Or I cannot, ma'am, I don't know. Hey, hey wake up, Link, it's morning already! I don't care, I want to sleep. I want to sleep until 9.30. Well, then again, that's usually the time I wake up, like, every single morning, because I go to bed at, like, 1 a.m. in the morning. I've been, I've been doing a terrible job at it. It's like, I've been doing, like, a terrible job at, like, doing my sleep schedule, by the way. Um, by the way, uh, down here is something, um, we can't get it until later, so let's just head outside. Yeah, I've been doing a terrible job at, like, keeping up with my sleep schedule or whatever. It's, <laughs> I'm honestly trying, people, but... I, I'm, I, I'm not in school. I'm not in school because apparently my school system freaked up about transfers or whatever. But enough about that. Let's get back to the game. Did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need. I must try it. Stewie. Okay. Tallow, if you and Mallow get when it, want it that badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't, I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth, can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I get in trouble for that. If you do want it, save up your allowances or something. But allowances are terrible! 
Uh, I wish I was born to a family that had a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. I can't even do Stewie that well. <laughs> so yes, we have to grind up for rupees already for an item that we have to get in order to progress the story. Gee, does that sound kind of sort of familiar? Maybe this game should have been called, uh, I don't know, JonTron Joke. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah, Colin fixed up, or rather finished up that fishing rod for us. Just, and yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I don't care, I just want my rupees, god dang it. <laughs> I want my money. And, hooray, we get a blue rupee. Hey kids, do you want to heat see this text box over and over again every time you reboot up the game? Of course you don't! And that's why this game does it for some reason. Yeah, this is the only game that does that, actually. In Out of all the 3D Zeldas, whenever you boot up the game, or rather, whenever you reboot up the game if you want to play again, every time you get a blue rupee out in the field or whatever, it always says that, like, you get a blue rupee, or you get a yellow rupee, or you get a red rupee. Jeez. It is a minor annoyance to me, but personally for me, it doesn't really bother, that, bother me too much. But yeah, like I was saying before, um, this game has a lot of similarities to Ocarina at a Time, if you can't even fathom that. This game does have plenty of similarities to Ocarina at a Time, like this part right here. We're grinding up for for an item that we need to get in order to progress the story, so... Yeah. Got the day off for work, my boy! Not me. My wife's been hassling me. Today it's the day to restock our store. See up that tree? If you press C and look up with the Wii Remote and do that... Yeah, some Ordon bees have been... Ordon! Bleh. They've been building some fine nests up there, and our cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so my wife's been in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. Yeah, we got that wimpy husband thing. Of course. So yeah, her wife's feeling all sad or whatever because her, because her cat's gone, and now apparently she's like all depressed, so let's see. Ugh. Aww. Oh man, don't get drunk. Don't don't get drunk, man. It's off of milk, really. You you didn't happen to see my little cat out there, did you? By the way, how are you liking this pointer? We okay. He ate the fish we were going to have for supper last night, and I gave him a good scolding, and then and then went out, and he hasn't returned. I'm so fraught with worry about him. I exhausted myself. Yeah, whatever. Give me a slingshot. I'm terribly sorry, but my mind is so filled with thoughts about my little cat, I can't simply deal with customers right now. Oh, if I had known this was gonna happen, I would have let my kitty eat fish to his heart's content. Link, my dear, I'm sorry. Would you leave me be? I'll serve you milk later. Okay, fine. Jeez. Don't have to be so depressed about it. Bleh. Okay. So, yeah, we have to apparently find our cat. Or something. Yeah. But there's also another problem that we have to deal with. No! Not you. Not you, problem. Jeez. There's also another thing that we have to deal with. Let's talk to you. I forget your name. I'll put it on screen. Oh, um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, he went... He took his sword and left early this morning. But I must ask, Link. You haven't seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It's a baby's cradle made, for finely wo made from finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How it could have drifted, I wonder. How could you lose a baby carriage in the river? That doesn't make any sense. That thing is like barely two feet. Then again, the cradle is like weighing not that much. So yeah. By the way, here's an here's an easy way to get rupees. An easy way to get up to the rupee amount you need. So if you hop up here, and you climb up here, and you don't fall off, and you don't fall off here, and you jump over to the top of Colin's house, you can get yourself a yellow rupee, which is 10 rupees. You get two yellow rupees, so that's an easy 20 rupees for you. So all that is very good. But in order to get the cradle back, we actually have to go over here to this place. Try talking to me with A and Z targeting. G. Hi, Nakokiri girl. Oh my god, your forehead! Hey, there you go. Over here, yeah, your voice carries well, as usual. What do you mean? Link is mute! Except for grunts that go like, yeah, yeah, or something. Anyway, yeah, we gotta climb up these vines in order to meet him. So let's go ahead and meet him, of course. Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah at the general store? Isn't that her cat over there? She's just been sitting there at my house having a staring contest at the creek. 
You don't suppose he's looking to catch a fish, do you? Haha! <laughs> a cat can't catch no fish! Sure thing, bro. Anyway, what's not... What's not a mean... I can't read. See that grass over there at the edge of the rock? Haven't I seen you whistling that stuff? I figured it, it was pretty weird to see it growing in a place like that, so I just thought to let you know. Okay, so... There's this, there's this pit of grass over here, but... What we want to do here is... We want to hop over here... And go up over here. Because, as you can see over there... A little bit of a monkey problem, per se. So, yeah, we gotta pick up this grass right here... And blow it! Little did you know, Link... Little did you know, that is weed. So, Link is literally doing drugs while he's doing it. <laughs> okay, no, it's not weed. It's not weed. Not at all, good sir. And ma'am. So yeah, we got this bird over here, which is freaking awesome. And we can basically use it to target stuff. Now, I like my precision, so the pointer's gonna be on for pretty much the majority of the game. Unless you find it annoying, which... No one comments on my videos anyway, so you wouldn't know if I had feedback. <laughs> I don't care. I don't even care in the slightest. So one thing that's actually cool about this game, or at least in the Wii version, is that whenever you solve a puzzle, the famous do 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 dingle, jingle, <laughs> dingle, <laughs> the famous do 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 the puzzle solve uh, jingle happens on the Wii mode speakers as well. So that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, we found the cradle. Hooray. And now she's going to give us something. So. We don't really have to wait for her to get back to the house. All we really have to do is to just freaking go up to the house, and there we go. My thanks to you, Link. Yes, yes, I had nearly forgotten. I'm supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. And we get the fishing rod. Hooray. This is the very fishing rod that was mentioned to us before by Colin and a bunch of other people. Yeah. So he made it under the instruction of his father. You can use it if you like. Okay, so this is going to bring up items. Items, I feel, in the Wii version is much better than the GameCube version. Because if you can look here, we can actually equip up to four items at once. But we can only use one at a time. So that is actually really, really cool. I like it. That is really, really cool, and I like it. And admittedly, I like this over Skyward Sword, so yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skyward Sword. As much as I love you, I the items... Your item selection things are better here. I'm, I, or rather, Twilight Princess is just better than you in the equipping items department. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, hey cat, how you doing? And now we're gonna see the best example of fishing in a Wii game I've ever seen in my life. So basically, you hold the Wii mode around like a real fishing rod. You press B to cast, and when your bobber goes down, uh, wave up the Wii remote like this, like a real fishing rod, and you reel it in with a nunchuck. Pretty much just like real fishing. So we get a green gill that is 11 inches. Hooray. And what you're actually supposed to do next is you're, is you're actually supposed to fish again. For the same fish, even. And... Come on. Come on, fishy. I know you can do it, fishy. Or am I missing something? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought for a second there I didn't even get it, but... Or I thought it was stuck or something, but... Yeah. We got another green gill. Huzzah. And he just catches the fish and Link is all like, what? <laughs> I don't know why, I always like the shocked expression on Link's face. <laughs> so yeah, we got that business done. And now for the jingle. Hooray! <laughs> I put it up to my speaker because I felt like it. I felt like it. Shut up. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, I'm hoping to activate this really funny scene, actually, because... Because, I'm really hoping to activate this scene. Because if you talk to the... If you talk to this guy... You know, wimpy husband, wimpy. So, it's so high up, I can't figure out what to do. Okay, okay, here it is. Oh god, run away! Not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> those bees really want him dead. And oh god, are those bees coming at me? Because I, I really hope I really hope not. Jeez. Okay. So 
If you're thinking you want to see go through this again, well, wrong. All you have to do is press minus twice, and there you go. Twilight Princess is the game in the series that allows you to skip cutscenes. Hooray, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know, Skyward Sword did it too. And I should really stop comparing this to Skyward Sword, jeez. God. It's just that this game and Twilight Princess... <laughs> I don't know, Skyward Sword in my eyes is better by comparison. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says, be it mixed fan reception or not. But the one thing I do kind of sort of criticize this game for is Link's climbing speed. Good God, is it slow. Why did they have to make this a thing? I mean, we won't see it yet, but Link can climb up ladders just fine. But when climbing up on vines, oh no siree, he has to climb up really freaking slow, apparently. Jesus. So if we go up into this tree, we'll find ourselves a blue rupee and a yellow rupee. Very nice indeed. Um... I actually like to show this one other place. I know this is gonna extend the video like by a few by a few minutes, but I have to show this because it is a secret, and as the law of Zelda LPs, I have to show secrets. Or at least secrets that I know of. Um, if you actually go up here, there is please sound don't cut off, please sound don't do something. Um, if you actually go up here, you can actually nap yourself a yellow rupee. So, that is actually pretty freaking cool. But, enough about that. Let's go ahead and go back to Sarah's shop. And see what is up. Now that her cat has returned to the place. Oh my, Link! You must simply hear this! Take a look, my little kitty Link came back. Oh, what? Jeez! Am I gonna stop comparing this game to Opgarina of Time anytime soon? Seriously? <laughs> First you name your Goron son after me, and now you name your cat Link, too? <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, we got a milk in a bottle. But it's half empty. Lame, guys. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, we get an empty bottle right off the bat. So that's pretty good. Anyway, and of course, as empty bottles go, we can reuse empty bottles after the things are empty. So that's pretty good. Anyway, now that we have the proper money, we can buy milk, bee larva, or slingshot. For 30 rupees. So, let's buy it. What are you doing buying a slingshot, you naughty thing? You're too old for toys. Will you at least let the kids play with it? Oh, of course I will. Of course I will. <laughs> it's not like this is an item for me or anything. Jeez. Anyway. Yeah, so we got the slingshot for the kitties now. That is pretty awesome. Not kitties, just kitties. There is a huge difference, you know. It's a huge difference in spelling to me. So anyway, now that we got the slingshot for the kids, I say we end things here. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to take the slingshot back to the kids to see what they think. The grand start of a grand adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.